It's hard to imagine Abu Dhabi and Dubai without their signature skyscrapers, but not so long ago, sand dunes stood where cosmopolitan cities now do. For 151 years, the region comprised of sheikdoms bound by a British protectorate territory called the Trucial States. With the withdrawal of the British in 1971, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the then ruler of Abu Dhabi, worked to unify all seven emirates, and on December 2, 1971, six signed the decree, with Ras al Khaimah joining later that same year. Having first discovered oil in the 1950s, the UAE has striven to become a regional and global economic power. However, the journey was not without its challenges, not least with the global financial crisis of 2008 and the past decade's dramatic oil price swings. Today, the UAE still relies heavily on oil revenues, despite it having the most diversified economy in the GCC, with investments in a wide range of sectors from tourism to construction. The backbone of the UAE's economy is its labor force, an international community which calls the Emirates home and makes up the world's sixth largest international migrant population, according to the UN. Every 2nd of December, Emiratis and expats come together to celebrate the country's founding with fireworks and traditional festivities, and this year more than 22,000 people took part in the official celebrations at the Zayed Sports City with the current rulers of the seven emirates uniting a population together, just as their forefathers had almost five decades ago.